Okay, enough of that. What I'm doing here is I'm taking my curling iron and placing it in the middle of the strand and using my thumb to feed the strand around the curling iron. If you start from the bottom and then spiral it all the way up, you're going to have some cool spots. So this helps it heat all the way through the whole strand evenly. The curling iron that I'm using is the Hot Tools one and a half inch curling iron. This retails for about $40. The bigger barrel on your curling iron, the looser the curl. So I hold that for about 10 seconds and then release the curl. What I'm doing here is I'm taking the curl and wounding it up in my hands. Then I'm going to take some double prong clips, which I'll show you here in a second. And I'm clipping the curl to the base of my head. This will allow for the curl to cool and it will be still tightly wound so the curl will stay longer. So I'm just doing that here again. As you can see I'm feeding the hair through the curling iron and releasing after 10 seconds and wounding the curl up and again pinning it to my head. It keeps everything so nice and neat and out of your way. And if you're not leaving for your event or whatever it is that you're doing that day, you can walk around the house for like three hours with your hair just ready to go as soon as you take those clips out. So I always found those really useful and helpful. If you want more tips on curling your hair, then keep on watching. But if you want tips on styling your hair, go to the 4 minute and 20 second minute mark and you will get styling tips there. But as of now, I'm going to speed through this because you guys get the point. Right here, I'm curling it upwards towards my head, not downwards, because I want face framing volume. And it just lays much more pretty. Everything I'm using in this video will be linked below, so if you're interested in the curling irons that I have, then check out the links below. Next, you're going to want to over direct the hair as I'm motioning here because you want an on base curl pictured here for maximum volume. And it's always nice to have volume in the front. So I'm starting in the middle of the strand and I'm going to feed it through like I did with the rest of the hair. my hair is bleached on top I only hold the heat on there for five seconds release and pin and continue doing the same thing till I'm completely finished hairspray I'll be using is the Tresemme number no. 4 hairspray. I love this hairspray. It gives it like really good hold but yeah it leaves your hair very touchable. So I let my hair cool for about 20 minutes and then I'm releasing all of the curls. See how those side pieces are going away from my face? Right now I will be teasing my hair. I'm grabbing a section of hair that's four inches by two inches and I will be using the spore net teasing brush I will put a picture right in here you want to hold the hair straight upwards and take it as you see and just push it down believe me your hair is not going to be a knotted mess it brushes out pretty easily, to be honest. And then I will be doing the same thing, another section the same size in the back of that one.
Now I'm just going to spread that out a little bit. Take some hairspray and don't spray it too much because you don't want it wet and like hard. You want it to be nice and touchable. Okay, so this is look number one where I'm just pulling everything to the side so it's kind of like a side part. And then I'm going to tease my bangs. And then lightly brush that. And with hair, see how I'm just working with it? You have to work with it for it to go the way you want it to. Like just place pieces where you would like them to go. Nobody's hair comes out perfect. You gotta work with it. See how voluminous it is? Is that a word? Voluminous? Voluptuous. <laughs> okay, so this is look number two. I just did a zigzag in the front for a part. I'm going for the Melania Trump look. You see how here her forehead's kind of big, but then she places her bangs like that and it kind of minimize, minimalizes her forehead. So I'm doing that right here. So I want to hold the hair right there. I'm going to spray it. And then I'm going to hold down on it for about 10 seconds. This is how I like doing my part, my middle part, because I myself, I feel like I have a big forehead. So what I'm doing here is just placing the hairs where I want them and then lightly spraying. There's no need to overspray your hair, just light little spritz and that should be good enough. Okay you guys, I hope you liked this video and I hope you found it very informative. So give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye!